What's up guys, welcome to the channel. You know me, I like NFTs. Non-functional transportation. So I bought another one here. Uh, I picked this up for only $500. Mainly because the Subaru is taking too long here. I got a Legacy GTM rebuilding. You can check out the video up here if you want to see. Uh, got the engine rebuilt, put back in there. Dealing with a bunch of, dealing with a misfire code, but either way, I need a beater to drive around town. So I went out and picked this car up. And then I got, I got this car for only $500. Saw it listed, knew I had to go get it. Super clean interior. That's my jump pack. Super clean back seats. But yeah, the transmission won't shift out of first and second gear. So that's what I'm about to fix on this next, which seems to be a common problem with the conductor plate inside the transmission. So we'll get to that, I'll have a whole video on it. But I just wanted to document the, uh, the next project car I have. Guys, this is just a budget vehicle. I just needed a budget car to drive around town. And I need to remove all this hideous chrome. The previous owner put all of this just horrendous chrome. This is chrome on top of the trim. Double chrome on top of the trim. Like someone call the cops. This is terrible. Like the visors are, I don't know, questionable. You got chrome trim wrapped around here. Like this isn't a factory, guys. This is, this is terrible. But other than the hideous chrome trim, we got the Merc Benz in the front here. And then we got this ugly, ugly, ugly stuff in the front. But I'll clean all that stuff up. Engine's super clean. It starts and runs perfect. Uh, I just gotta finish the, I just gotta fix that job on the conductor plate. So I'm gonna pull this in, get it inspected, make sure it's a conductor plate, and then I'll give you guys a little uh, series on this little $500 beater that I got. I'm gonna put maybe 500 bucks into it. I'll drive it for a while. We're gonna sell it for 3,500 bucks. Easily, easily. So if you guys remember, I had a BMW X5. I sold that really quick because I couldn't figure out the problem with the power steering pump. Neither could a master BMW technician. So I got rid of that. That one's gone. Just working on the Subaru. And then I gotta get the, this one finished up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump onto this one first because I, I want a little driver to drive around town. So I'm gonna pull this in the garage real quick. We're gonna check it out. All right, so I already need a new battery. This battery's too small, I can tell you that much. Guys, check out this dipstick. <laughs> That's crazy. That's for the transmission. So we were having some issues before with it. Um, but yeah, I got my top down jump pack on here. We got the boost on. Boom, turn the boost on. I love that jump surge pack right here. Check out my description if you want to get one for yourself. It's pretty sweet. All right, let's see if this bitch starts. Sorry, let's see if this nice lady starts. I mean, who, who wouldn't buy that for $5,000? Sorry. Who wouldn't buy that for $500? Are you serious? Look at that. I mean, it idles perfectly. Come on. Now I gotta show, now I gotta show you real quick before I pull it in the garage. I know this ain't no, I know it's not a Maybach or something or nothing crazy. Like, you're not gonna share your video. You're not gonna share this video with your friends. You're like, look at this crazy car, but. For 500 bucks? Yeah, you don't have to do this thing, that's okay. Okay, okay. But we're running good. Running good. I'm just gonna leave that hooked up. Pull this old girl in, huh? The tints are atrocious. You can probably see how purple that is. And they're like all scraped up by something. By something. We gotta fix that headliner a little bit too. Tuck that up and glue it. Either way, look at that. Bang! That shit slams in reverse. Slam in a drive. Bang! This car definitely has an exhaust leak too. This car won't shift out of first gear, and I guess it's a common problem on these C230s with the 722.6 transmission. Either way, it seems like it's a pretty easy fix, pretty straightforward. 
I don't know why they went and painted all this god awful red, but uh, not only did they do that, but they put chrome everywhere. I mean, on everything you could imagine, but that's okay because it uh, starts and runs for only 500 bucks. So I got a little cosmetic stuff to do, but it's pretty clean. So I am about to lower the transmission pan and replace this circuit board here because I guess this fails and doesn't let it shift. With that comes a new filter, gasket, and uh, the new plug adapter as well with the o-ring on it. Uh, using the Valvoline ATF as it's Mercedes-Benz approved and the cheapest option. Guys, this is a budget vehicle. This is a budget build. I've been building this Subaru for a little while now. Uh, rebuilt the whole engine if you guys have been following along. And I have a misfire and I, I haven't had a, a car of my own since October to drive around town. So, saw this posted, went and picked it up. Pretty confident that I can fix it with the parts provided. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the story behind that. So I'll drive this around for a while. I might even keep it because parts are pretty cheap and these are actually really reliable. These are great cars. A uh, little supercharged C230s. They got a great transmission and the interior is mint condition. But anyways, uh, I will be putting some Rotella T6 in after I do a little oil flush. It'll get some engine restore. I love this stuff, works great. Uh, we got the man filter, of course, with a little octane booster. We got the new bolts for the tranny pan. Um, and I got the drain plug because the guy before me ruined his drain plug. And then I'll show you guys here in a second, but I got this flex disc for the drive shaft because the one below is about to blow up. So uh, this needs to be replaced before I can start driving it. And we got a new oil filter cap because that's broken. The uh, radiator cap looks questionable. And this also has a power steering filter. I didn't, uh, I've never seen a power steering filter, but we'll replace that in a different video. Uh, today we're just doing the circuit board and uh, we'll do this in a different video too. But either way, check this car out guys. 500 bucks and it fires right up. Super clean though. So, but I mean the guy went crazy with chrome. Like absolutely crazy. In Vegas, these are actually uh, helpful because you get so much sun glare and it ruins your dash. So that's kind of nice to have. But I mean, everything is in really clean condition. Only 150,000 miles. I am super shocked that I got this for 500 bucks. But again, I mean, he went double chrome on the windows. Double chrome followed with chrome. We got the chrome license plate. We got the chrome trim on the windows. We got the, the, the lip. The chrome is not even connected. We chromed up the roof. This guy chromed up the back even. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I've definitely had worse problems than that. Uh, you got the little Mercedes Benz stickers on here, some more chrome to the dome. He even chromed the inside of the window here. So fantastic job, guy, but mint condition interior. So that's great. Uh, the only problem with the interior was like this little ding right here. Even the floor is clean, we got the fake AMG pedals. Yeah. And the tin's gotta get replaced, that's pretty ugly. But uh, we'll get that taken care of. Be all kinds of chrome. This is chrome stickers. All right, so now I'm gonna jump under the car, we're gonna get all the transmission fluid drained out, and then we're gonna get uh, the transmission pan dropped, we're gonna get the, the little circuitry board, we're gonna pull her out of there, and uh, we're gonna see what we can find. So let's see if this fixes it, let's jump in there. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. 